Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Techno Blub. I'm your host Eben Wilkins and Maurice John. Alright, and today we're gonna talk about the recent event Microsoft held. When it was last week? I think so. Last week, right there. Build 2017 event. So stay tuned. So what are we talking about first? Mm, well, um, the big highlight, um, I think, was the Fluid Design, aka Project Neon. Um, persons who are familiar with Windows would recall Project Neon back in Vista, right? Right, this kind of started that yeah. glassy trend. Right, was Arrow. Arrow, there we go. Right, yeah, Arrow. But it gives a kind of metallic, transparent kind of feel. Okay. Uh, uh, was it metallic? <laughs> <laughs> I would just say frosted glass. Acrylic. Right. Alright, uh, there we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, more frosted glass. Kind uh, of. Yeah. So, yeah, so they're kind of stepping it up. Um, they have five different concepts they're using. They're using light, depth, motion, material, and scale. So it's, I, it kind of reminds me of. The Apple design. Oh yeah, what big Apple time. Did, Apple <laughs> did with Mac yeah. OS and mm-hmm. iOS, um, but it has some uniqueness to it in a sense mm-hmm. that works for Windows. Um, you see, Windows. I don't know, boy. It looks. I like it. It looks. Good. It really. I, I really it, like it. It's a big step up from the solid colors that they had in the initial Windows eight. Mm-hmm. Kind of. It was kind of dull and boring and mm-hmm. flat. Really flat, but now it gives some depth, some yeah. some color. Right. So yeah. you know, I feel like everybody tries to establish their own this own design look. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think for me, material design was this huge step forward into this metaf- metaphoric um, explanation of paper and all of this. So now I think Microsoft are getting into this whole um, why. This and the light that touches hair, the blue shine, <laughs> the material there. So I'm like, okay, alright, cool, we can do this. Yeah. If yeah. you look at some of the future promotions, well, the promotional videos of Win Microsoft a um, couple of years back mm-hmm. of what they see the future to be, you kind of see that, you know, we're at the point where they envision themselves. Okay. What, 10 years ago, 10, 5 years ago? I don't know if you could pull up one of those okay, well, you know, videos. Uh, you know, show it somewhere around here. Yeah. But it it looks good. Mm-hmm. I have to admit that it looks good. My only and my continuous concern is developers, developers, developers. Okay. Developers, developers, developers. Well, developers. Um, that's that's a that's a good thing because um, Microsoft has seemed to switch their focus um, before they wanted everyone to be on the UWP platform mm-hmm. but they were pushing it from the perspective of phones mm-hmm. so you build your you convert your apps so that it could be used on phones as well mm-hmm. but they're, they're mobile businesses just not where it should be at the moment so I, I'm, I'm saying that they're shifting their focus now to push the developers you know what you have your Win32 apps on desktop. Mm. Convert it to UWP and take advantage of the new features such as the fluid designs mm-hmm. so that you can, you know, make your app pop more and be a bit more modern. Upgrade your apps to UWP now. Okay. Yeah. So I get that that's where they're pushing it now. They're they're straight away from the phone concept. Okay. You know, but in the end, once you have a UWP app. It, it would eventually work on your phone. Exactly. So, you know. So, I will see if, if this works out for them. <laughs> I hope it does. I kind of like, I want a Surface phone to see what Microsoft will do. So, I kind of hoping for some glimmer of success so that they could see, okay, to satisfy people like Eben, you know, <laughs> and Eben broke his phone. I need to take a picture of Eben's phone. <laughs> So I could slide it in the video <laughs> and see how dedicated this oh, is to Windows Phone. Yeah, so it's a, a look that is cool. Um, 
We'll see if it works. Uh, but yeah, that's that. That's that. So what else was in the news? Um, in the news, they also showed some mixed reality stuff. Mm-hmm. Some um, improvements on some of their productivity mm-hmm. um, softwares. But before the build, they before announced build. yes, they announced Windows 10 S. Right. And the Surface Laptop. Traditional and the Surface Laptop. laptop. Ah, it reminds me of this laptop you have right now. <laughs> <laughs> With what difference? What key difference? Oh, the, the fabric. The fabric and the top. Yeah. What do you oh. think, honestly, about the fabric and the top? I want to be. I want. You want the fence? I want the fence. I want the borderline with the fabric. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not too sure about that fabric. Yeah. I'm. I'm putting my hands on it. I'm like, okay, it's cold. I'm getting that whole boy want this soft touch mm-hmm. but maybe during how long the last yeah. Yeah. yeah I heard them say that um, we should treat the laptop like a luxury item or something like that <laughs> yo I cannot tell you how many times bread or something chop at this laptop eh? and I thought God is better so I could just push it off and yeah. Yeah. if you have a device that has this material on top of it Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, my. It is. And it's not like it's a, it's a surface, but a um, surface pro, pro, when where you, you can switch it on. Yeah, you can. So you <laughs> can't, you know, you have this ugly thing that you paid a thousand dollars for. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I do not like the fact that it starts at four gigs. In today's dead age, come on, give me eight gigs of RAM at least. Yeah, I uh, but it looks yeah. good though. Uh, it right. looks good. It is, it does look. It looks premium and it's really good. Mm-hmm. It, looks, it looks lovely. I would buy it for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> another another <laughs> grind. Huge grind. I was expecting USB C. Oh, oh. I okay. was expecting <clears throat> USB C. I was like, okay. Microsoft gonna push the boundaries. And say okay, the, the technology isn't mature yet, but we're gonna stop it and say okay. This is the future of, of connectivity. Let's do this. But it, is it not? It's not USB C, but it is USB three. Mm, it is right. USB-3. It's USB three, but not C. Um, I think it's because most devices mm. are still do not have USB C in yeah. Like peripheral devices, your cameras, your oh, they don't have USB-C. USB-C. You buy a toaster so, device. Uh-huh. That is going to last you for the next three years. Right. They 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 throw this out as a school device. Mm-hmm. So I am going to university, I'm going to university for three years. Okay. I buy my device. You are telling me I put it in space of three years. This technology is outdated, and I feel like I made a bad project. I don't know. <laughs> and in the next two, three years, we'll see how much devices have obviously you. Really, really <laughs> you get the power, you mm-hmm. get display. Like, why put up with the display port yeah. on this tablet? Yeah, on this laptop, sorry. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> but can the USB 3 um, Power is the same power as no, it. Isn't, no. it, isn't it the same? Just with a different port? You know what I'm You don't have this flexibility okay. right. as USB C. Right. You could have get power, you could have get um, display, data. you could get data out. It, yeah. It's just not the same at all. It's not the same at all. And lastly, on all this is. We didn't talk about the S. The Windows. The tennis. Tennis. Yeah, we didn't talk about the tennis. Uh, the, a lot of people say the tennis is the is what RT should have been, uh-huh. but I mean, I have no problem because it's a free upgrade to Windows Pro. So if you buy this, if you, surface, if you buy this stuff, it's a laptop. Yeah, it's a laptop. Yeah. So I don't know. It's a, to me, the Windows buy this stuff, laptop. If 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 I don't, I don't know why I stand in this whole thing. But some argument is the way that Windows is designed. When you install apps from all over the internet and so, it slows down the machines. So schools were requesting devices that, hey, can be locked into ecosystem. Locked into ecosystem. When, yeah. you, when you take it out of the package, the performance that you have on day one, you should have it 30, 40, 100, 
pure as it is when it is later. And Microsoft has more control over the apps that are installed through the App Store. But you, we, you need more apps to come in the App Store if this is going to work. And it's going to depend on Microsoft to actually get developers to say, hey, let me put my apps on them to the App Store. So it's all on them to get them get them to that point. I mean, I, 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 I'm not sure what kind of deals um, developers have with the schools produce apps specifically for the schools but I'm guessing um, these this is information Microsoft has so they made the bet on it so, mm. well, so we, we will see I mean, we'll see yeah we'll see I mean it's specifically built for schools and education systems so mm. yeah we'll see, we'll see. but I know Mac OS the App Store Mac OS was a huge fail in my in my honest opinion um, it works on the phone because nobody wants to go on the internet and exactly. search and around looking. Yeah. It's here at one place, but the freedom of the desktop kind of crosses out the need for just a one stop shop. Kind of, I don't know. And we'll see if it works, we'll see if it doesn't work. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. In all honesty, I mean, I have Windows to on my desktop and I hardly ever use that to look for apps and programs unless it's a specific app on the windows so I mean, exactly. i'm looking for something i go on the web <laughs> is that easy I can mean, you, yeah, yeah can you break that mold yeah. in your head try to break that out of people it's going to be difficult yeah mm -hmm. we we'll definitely have to see how that goes we have to see how that goes yeah and that has been another episode of techno blog thank you for joining us uh with my co-chair Ebay will get me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, catch us next time on our next episode. Thank yeah. you. Peace out. Peace out. Cool.